Welcome to Chet TV News. Here are your headlines. Advanced polls have opened up in the piece. A man with 51 outstanding warrants was found and arrested in Dawson Creek. And voting continues for the TLC Thrift Shop's application video in the BC Hydro Champions Program. Welcome to Chet TV News. I'm Callie Warren. Advanced polls opened up on Wednesday at 8 a.m. and residents had a chance to vote before the 15th. Election officer Carol Newsom said that there was a steady stream of voters since opening and that the day went well. The eight candidates, Alec Brownlee, Rochelle Galbraith, Ernest Fanner, Laura Weisgerber, Mel Deck, Dale Tremblay, Darren Shankel, and Clay Bassendowski are fighting for only six spots on council. Next Wednesday the 12th, you will have another opportunity to cast your vote before Election Day. Last week, both Dawson Creek and Chetwin had their all-candidates forums. If you are unable to attend, we will be showing them after the news at 6.30 p.m. until the 15th. Chetwins will play Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays, and Dawson Creeks will be shown Wednesdays and Thursdays. Fort St. John's All-Candidates Forum was Monday night. Lido Theatre played host, and it was a packed venue. Candidates answered questions about doctor shortages, crowded schools, and other large issues the city faces, but the discussion on doctor shortages has a silver lining. The Energetic City announced last week that they were getting a brand new nurse and four new local physicians. The Dawson Creek RCMP arrested 23-year-old Chance Shaw on Monday. The young man was wanted on 51 outstanding warrants in Alberta. RCMP say he was wanted on several theft, fraud and forgery counts, as well as multiple assaults. He will be transported back to Alberta soon to face his charges. The Bear Mountain Wind Farm is celebrating five years in the Peace region. Last Friday, during their anniversary party, Atlas Gas, the developer of the project, donated $10,000 to Dawson's Step Up and Ride program, which has been struggling financially for some time now. The wind farm also serves as a learning facility for wind maintenance technician students at Northern Lights College. BC wildlife photographer Jim Lawrence often goes into the bush to capture photos of wildlife doing incredible things. But he wasn't expecting a photo like this. After setting up his camera, he noticed a bear was crossing the river towards him. He left his gear and ran to his truck where he captured this image. The bear almost seems human-like and using a camera. He posted it online and it went viral almost immediately. The location in BC hasn't been disclosed. The Junior Canucks host back-to-back -back games this weekend. Sexmas sits under Dawson Creek in the rankings, but past games have only been decided by a single point. They are in town on Friday. And on Saturday, the North Peace Navigators look to expand their first place lead. But Canucks head coach Eric Fulton says that they will take this game on the same way they do every game to try and get the other team to play to their strengths. Peace FM's Matt Nicholson will be calling the game. You can listen live at 94.5 in Chetwin or 1041 in Dawson Creek. In local midget hockey, the Chetwin Midget Giants will host the Peace River Warriors this Friday at the Chetwin Rec Center. Make sure you stop by and support our local team. It's almost ski season and Powder King looks like their third week of November opening will be no problem for their slopes. In Dawson Creek, Bear Mountain Ski Hill is also preparing for their opening. Their hills are usually open around mid-December on. With less than 100 days until the beginning of the Canadian Winter Games, the torch has made it to Prince George. From here, it will travel around northern BC, passing through 150 honoured torchbearers' hands with stops in Fort St. John and Terrace. November 30th marks the last day to vote for the TLC Thrift Shop and Training Center's application video. Please don't forget to vote every day. The $10,000 grant would mean a brand new sewing center and would help save more clothes and items from our landfill. Check out the link on our Facebook page. Thank you for watching Chet TV News. You can always tweet me at Warren underscore Callie or email me at Callie at PeaceFM.ca. Matt Nicholson is coming up next with your weather.
Hello, I'm Matt Nicholson with your Chet TV weather. Currently in Prince George, it's one degree with some light rain. Tuesday, looking up for some sun and cloud with a high of six. Wednesday, periods of rain, low minus three, high plus five. Thursday, rain, low plus five, high seven. Friday, a mix of sun and cloud, low minus six, high plus five. Saturday, cloudy with a 60% chance of flurries, low minus four, high plus one. And for Sunday, Cloudy with a 60% chance of flurries or rain showers, low minus four, high plus three. Currently in Grand Prairie, it's four degrees with a chance of flurries through the evening. Tuesday, there could be some, some snow in the morning, a high of plus five predicted. Wednesday, sunny, low minus three, high plus four. Thursday, it's a mix of sun and cloud with a 30% chance of showers, low minus one, high six. Friday, sunny, low minus eight, high minus four. Saturday, cloudy, low minus 10, high minus two. And for Sunday in Grand Prairie, you're looking at clouds with a 60% chance of flurries, low minus seven, high minus two. Right now in Fort St. John, it's two degrees with a chance of flurries for the evening. Tuesday, you're looking at a mix of sun and cloud clearing in the evening, wind becoming southwest at 30 kilometers an hour in the afternoon with a high of six. Wednesday, sunny, low minus three, high plus three. Thursday, a mix of sun and cloud, low zero, high six. Friday, sunny, low minus 12, high minus five. Saturday, cloudy, low minus nine, high minus five. And for Sunday in Fort St. John, cloudy with a 60% chance of flurries, low minus eight, high minus five. Right now in Dawson Creek, it's two degrees and cloudy with a chance of showers through the evening. Tuesday, a mix of sun and cloud clearing in the evening, high plus five. Wednesday, sunny, low minus three, high plus three. Thursday, a mix of sun and cloud, low is zero, high of six. Friday, sunny, low minus 12, high minus five. Saturday, cloudy, low minus nine, high minus five. And Sunday in Dawson Creek, you're looking at cloudy periods with a 60% chance of flurries, low minus eight, high minus five. And in Chetwin, it's two degrees with some cloud cover. Tuesday, you're looking at a mix of sun and cloud, clearing in the evening with a high of plus five. Wednesday, sunny, low minus three, high plus three. Thursday, a mix of sun and cloud, low zero, high six. Friday, sunny, low minus 12, high minus five. Saturday, cloudy, low minus nine, high minus five. And Sunday for Chetwin, we're looking at clouds with a 60% chance of flurries, low minus eight, high minus five. That has been your Chet TV weather. For Chet TV, I'm Matt Nicholson. Hello, I'm Constable Damien Moe with the Chetwin RCMP. With snow well on its way, it's important you prepare for winter driving. Do you really need snow tires? The answer is yes, and here's why. Rubber tends to harden in cold weather, thus reducing friction and stopping capability of the vehicle. The new generation winter tires maintain their elasticity and gripping power at lower temperatures, whereas all season tires tend to stiffen and lose gripping power around zero Celsius. The improved gripping power at lower temperatures translates to shorter stopping distances and better vehicle cornering and control. That could be the difference between a safe stop and a fender bender or worse. And remember, it is the law to have winter tires on your vehicle when traveling in this region. So to keep yourself safe this winter, install four identical snow tires. Pack an emergency kit. Plan your trip and tell your friends and family. Check road and weather conditions. Remove all snow and ice from your vehicle before each trip. Give yourself extra travel time in bad weather. Avoid using overdrive and cruise control on slippery roads. Travel with a fully charged cell phone for emergency situations. And slow down and wear your seatbelt. TLC Community Thrift Shop and Training Center Society is a group of volunteers and employees 
uh, with like-minded ideas and one common goal. We uh, reduce, reuse and recycle as much as we can, uh, tons and tons of uh, poundage per year. We also work alongside user groups to provide work experience for special needs children, uh, children who witness abuse. We work alongside women's shelters, uh, alongside men's shelters, also hospitals and other nonprofit organizations. My name is Lori and I package things up so to put on the store. This young lady is a customer here and she's helping me today because it's hard to package three dolls in one little shot. Out back here we often so sort the donations that come in um, and it can be quite a challenge because there can be a wide variety of things in a box. We also look very carefully at the clothing to make sure that there's no buttons missing, no zippers broken, no holes in it. We want to always be able to provide good quality stuff and not low-end uh, cast-offs. Right now when donations come in of slightly used and worn items that have broken zippers or pockets that are ripped off, we unfortunately have to throw them in the landfill. If we had a proper sewing center, we could actually sew zippers in, sew pockets, and be able to save even more from the landfill. My name is Fran and I bought this wedding dress here and I support the TLC's application to BC Hydro for a $10,000 grant. I support the TLC application to BC Hydro to get a sorting center and sewing center. I started volunteering here 14 years ago and it was my way of giving back to the community because I've lived here for 41 years now and I've seen Chetland grow from a small community to a community that's flourishing and it's more than just a thrift shop where you can come to buy your clothes. It's a, a small town community, it's like a hub the hub of Chatwin where people come to visit and see and, and see what's new every, every week. 